The movie adaptation of Cats will soon be coming to a theater near you. With a star-studded cast and top-of-the-line visual effects, it's expected to bring in some major revenue at the box office. Here's everything you need to know before you head out to the theater. It's well known that movie studios typically release their films on strategic dates. For example, the beginning of the year and the very end of summer are traditionally considered dumping grounds when studios release their least ambitious films. Meanwhile, films released in the beginning of summer or around major holidays are often big-budget blockbusters, like the latest entries in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the Fast and the Furious franchise. And of course, films vying for Oscar nominations are typically released around the end of the year to make sure the Academy remembers them when it's time to vote. As far as Cats goes, it is set to prowl into theaters on December 20, 2019. Clearly, Universal Pictures is hoping that its feline spectacle will be the main event at the box office during the holidays. It's also possible that they're even hoping for some Oscar nods. The Cats cast is filled with an impressive amount of A-list actors and extremely talented dancers. Jennifer Hudson will be playing the highly coveted role of Grizabella, even though she's a little young for the part. But given the vocal demands this role requires, it's a wise casting choice. As for the other elderly felines, Judi Dench and Ian McKellen will star as Old Deuteronomy and Gus the Theater Cat, respectively. As for the feisty younger cats, Taylor Swift will purr as the self-assured Bombalorina, and Jason Derulo will slay as the Alpha Tom Rum Tum Tugger. Additionally, James Corden will have plenty of swagger as Bustopher Jones, while Rebel Wilson will play the tap-dancing tabby Jenny Any Dots. The villain will be the debonair Idris Elba as McCavity, and Laurie Davidson will bring the magic to Mr. Mistopheles. Finally, the incredibly gifted ballet dancer Francesca Hayward will dance her way into your heart as Victoria. What an insanely talented lineup! Taylor Swift is no stranger to performing, and she didn't hold back while preparing for her biggest acting role yet. As she revealed in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, I just fully committed and threw myself into the process and had the most fun. In particular, Swift and her fellow cats went to a special kind of class to help them embody the feline spirit. She explained to EW, We had this thing called Cat School that was a class where you could learn about how to create the motions of cats, how to think like they think, how to sense things the way that they do, carry yourself the way a cat would. And I was only supposed to come in for like three days of cat school, and I was there for four months. If you aren't already familiar with what happens in cats, here's your spoiler warning, as we're going to summarize the major plot points. Can you tell me or explain to me what the plot of Cats is? Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, what a way to throw me under the bus there. The musical that the film is based on follows the exploits of musically inclined felines who are part of a group called Jellicles. At the start of the show, the Jellicles are all preparing for the Jellicle Ball and the ritual that will follow it, wherein one lucky kitty will be selected to be reborn into their next life. But before they get there, each of the principal cats will have their chance to shine over the course of many musical and dance numbers. Once the second act rolls around, McCavity commences with making a whole lot of mischief, and the elder feline Old Deuteronomy goes missing. But before long, the elder cat is found when the Jellicles band together to facilitate his rescue. And in the end, after all is said and done, it's Grizabella who's chosen to be reborn after a life of being shunned by her tribe. Don't forget to bring your tissues for those final scenes. If you're a millennial or a Gen Xer, chances are you remember when Cats was the king of Broadway musicals. Its impressive first Broadway run started in 1982, and it lasted for nearly two decades until 2000. Alas, if you're a member of the Gen Z cohort, you may not remember all the TV commercials or just how inescapable the song Memory was. But trust us, Cats really was that insanely popular. And there would be no Cats without Broadway mastermind Andrew Lloyd Webber, the legendary composer who's also responsible for such shows as The Phantom of the Opera and Jesus Christ Superstar. Inspired by T.S. Eliot's 1939 book Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats, Webber composed the musical himself, which premiered in London's West End in 1981. The result was Eliot's playful poetry in song form performed by the characters he dreamed up so many years ago. Now the ever-cherished Cats musical will finally make its big-screen debut, 80 years after Elliot put pen to paper.
If you haven't heard of the hip-hop musical Hamilton and can't sing along to every word on the soundtrack, then what have you even been doing with your life the past few years? The massively successful musical took home 11 Tony Awards back in 2016 and has basically turned Broadway on its head. While most of that is due to the genius of creator Lin-Manuel Miranda, choreographer Andy Blankenbuehler definitely also deserves his share of the credit, as he received one of Hamilton's Tonys in recognition of his inspired and kinetic choreography. Anyone who is a fan of both Hamilton and Cats is in luck, as Blankenbuehler also did the choreography for the upcoming big-screen feline spectacular. Judging by the trailer alone, the moves are going to be pretty incredible, as the dance scenes we get a sneak peek at are rather jaw-dropping. Considering that Blankenbuehler also did the choreography for the 2016 Broadway revival of Cats, there's no better person for the job. Like everyone else who's starring in or working on Cats, director Tom Hooper is the cream of the crop. The British filmmaker has a bounty of awards to his name, including the coveted Academy Award for Best Achievement in Directing. He brought that Oscar home for his work directing the 2010 film The King's Speech, which also earned the award for Best Picture. Hooper also received top honors from the Directors Guild of America that year, and he was named British Director of the Year by the London Film Critics Circle. Hooper is no one-trick pony, as he also received major accolades for his visionary directing of the film adaptation of 2012's Les Miserables. That film received eight Academy Award nominations and won the Golden Globe for Best Picture, Musical, or Comedy. In addition to all that, Hooper has received numerous Golden Globe Awards for his work in television. Now that he's bringing his genius to the big screen once again for Cats, chances are high that this film is going to be epic. It is a very timely story about the importance of inclusion and redemption. There are quite a few memorable songs on the original Cat soundtrack besides the iconic memory. Just to name a few, there's Mr. Mistopheles, The Rum Tum Tugger, and McCavity the Mystery Cat. If you're already familiar with the soundtrack, it's hard not to sing the tunes out loud from just hearing the names of the songs. Fortunately for Cat's groupies everywhere, there's going to be new music in the upcoming film, and it appears that it is going to be penned by the Catman himself, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Back in January 2018, British columnist Baz Babic Boy tweeted, Meow! Andrew Lloyd Webber told me that he has composed a new song for Tom Hooper's hoped-for film of musical Cats to be sung by Kitten Victoria. That's pretty exciting for musical buffs and die-hard Andrew Lloyd Webber fans. Considering that the role of Victoria is played by Francesca Hayward, the ballerina will have to prove that she has the vocal chops in addition to her undeniable dance skills. By any standard of measurement, the original Broadway run of Cats was a success. After the original production finished up, there was a Broadway revival that opened in July 2016 and lasted into 2017. Altogether, the show is thought to have brought a whopping $3 billion of revenue to the Big Apple. That makes it one of the highest-grossing musicals in Broadway history. But unfortunately for live theater aficionados everywhere, you can't see Cats on Broadway anymore, at least not until the next hypothetical revival. But with the theatrical release on the horizon, Cats fans will eventually be able to revisit the show whenever they like in their living rooms, which arguably makes up for the lack of the kitties on the Great White Way. It's unclear if there are any contractual restrictions in place in anticipation of the film version, so who knows if and when Cats will return to the stage in the future. If you're remotely familiar with Taylor Swift beyond the fact that she's one of the biggest pop stars on the planet, chances are that you know she's a self-proclaimed cat lover. Somehow, she still manages to find time to be a feline fanatic despite how in demand she constantly is. In an interview with Time magazine, she gushed, I have cats. I'm obsessed with them. I love my cats so much that when a role came up in a movie called Cats, I just thought, like, I gotta do this. Like, this is my calling in life to do this. For the ladies. So what is it about the feline persuasion that Swift appreciates so much? As she explained to Time, they're very dignified, they're independent, they're very capable of dealing with their own life. That's very true, except until it comes time to scoop the litter box, as it's the humans who have to deal with that. Swift isn't the only member of the Cats cast who's 100% all in for this film. Idris Elba has also shared his enthusiasm for the project, and he isn't shy about his feelings whatsoever. He proclaimed to Vanity Fair, It's going to be spectacular. It's one of the most successful musicals in the world, and what I think Tom Hooper is doing to it is just magnifying what made it magical on the stage. 
Then in a subsequent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Elba declared, I think it's going to be incredible to see. I don't want to give too much away, but I think that the way that they're visually making the cats into humans is going to be not seen before. Given Elba's incredible acting abilities, chances are that he'll shine as the dark and dangerous McCavity. Hopefully the rest of the cast and crew members are just as excited as Swift and Elba are, and we can't wait to see the results of their efforts. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.